Good day, learners. Today, we are going to study about forming equation of a line. Now, in forming equation of a line, we have three formulas. We have this one, which is the slope-intercept form. And this one is the formula for finding the gradient or slope when two points are given. And this one is our formula to find the equation of our line if we have the slope and a point. So we use this formula only when we have already the slope. But if the slope is not yet given and we are given two points, we need to first use this formula. So let's have an example here. Find the equation of a line with a slope of 3 and passing through 0, negative 4. So in our given slope is m. m here or m here. So let us put here the m is equal to 3. If you are going to graph that one, make it 3 over 1. And passing through 0, negative 4. So we have a point which is 0, negative 4. Now if we have 0 for x and we have the y here because this one is our x and this one is our y. If we plot this line, it will pass through 0, negative 4. That 0, negative 4 will be like this. We have the 0 here, and 0 is x, 0 here, and negative 4. So negative 4 is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. So that one is negative 4. So our line will pass through this y-intercept. Maybe like this, or maybe like this. But because our slope is positive, our line will be somewhat like this. So it will pass through negative 4. If a line passes through the y-axis, it is called the y-intercept. And that is our C in our slope-intercept form. So our C here is equal to that negative 4 already. This one is the y-intercept c. If this one is 0. If this one is not 0, then we need to find it by using our equation. So here, it's very simple. We use this slope-intercept form. y equals our m gradient or slope is 3. We put the x here. And the C is negative 4. And that is our equation of the line. If we are going to plot it, so we have negative 4. We start here. We use 3 over 1. So 1, 2, 3, and then we have 1 here. 1, 2, 3, 1. Then our line is this one. This is our line if we are going to plot it. Okay, let's have... The second example, find the equation of a line with a slope of 2 over 5 and passing through 10, 2. So, in our solution here, we can use this one directly because this one will be our x sub 1, this one is our y sub 1, and we have already our slope, so we just put the slope here, which is 2 over 5, now, y sub 1 is 2 and x sub 1 is 10. Then, we apply algebra. Then, we arrange them in the form of y mx plus c and we have the equation of our line. Or, the other solution is, here, the y is 2, the x is 10, m is 2 over 5, and first, we compute for the y-intercept c. After finding the c, then we put it here and we have the equation of the line. So, we have two solutions. Now, let us first use that one. 
Okay. So let us have this one as our x, y, and then put the subscript one and one because we have one and one there. Then afterwards, we put y. No value for y. It's still y. That y there. It's y here. Minus. You copy the minus here. Okay. Y sub 1, our Y sub 1 here is 2. You may put that one in a bracket or parenthesis or just put 2. Because negative times positive is negative. Equals, then we put our M, the gradient, the slope, which is 2 over 5. So we have here 2 over 5. What do you mean by that one? Times. And then x again, we don't have a value for x. Copy the minus because that is minus there. And the x sub 1. And the x sub 1 is 10. So no need to place that one or put that one in a bracket. So we have this one. By applying algebra, put this one in bracket because we will cross multiply. We, mul we will multiply y minus 2 by 5 and the x minus 10 by 2. So this one, I'm going to put the 5 first here. So we have 5. And then multiply by this y minus 2 is equal to the 2 here because the 5 is not uh, there anymore. So we have x minus 10 here. Then by distributive property, you can put an arrow here. So you know what you are going to multiply. So 5 times y is 5y and then the minus here positive times negative is negative or just copy the negative 5 times 2 is 10 then equals here 2 times x is 2x and the negative here is still negative because this one is positive careful if this one is negative because negative times negative there will become positive so there's no problem because this one is positive. So 2 times 10, it's 20. Then to arrange this one in the form of y m x plus c, we transpose negative 10 to the right and leave 5y because 5y is already positive. So we have 5y here is equal to 2x minus 20. We transpose negative 10 to the other side, it will become positive. So now let us combine 5y, 2x, no more like terms, minus 20 plus 10 is minus 10. So we have minus 10 there. Okay. And then we divide it by 5, divide this by 5, and also this one by 5. So this one. Is now y is equal to we have 2 over 5 which is the slope which is correct because our slope is 2 over 5 and then we have our x minus 10 divided by 5 is 2 so this one is our equation what but what is the other solution so the other solution is we use this one this one is the second solution so for the second solution here, we use that y equals mx plus c. So I'm going to put here y is equal to mx plus c. And in this formula, we are going to compute for the y-intercept c. So what is the y here? So the y here is actually we don't have now the one here because you'll be confused to the x sub 1 and y sub 1 it is simply x and y so for the y it's 2 here equals the slope is given which is 2 over 5 place x in a bracket because that is multiplication 2 over 5 times x so the x here is 10 plus c now we solve for c we have only one unknown now if we can we can multiply 2 over 5 times 10 or 
if we choose to cross multiply so that will be 5 times 2 but you don't forget to multiply the C so it will become 5 times 2 is 10 on the left here on the right 5 will not be there anymore but the C will become 5C because we are going to multiply all of them by 5 that we just multiply 2 over 5 times 10 so when we multiply 2 over 5 and 10 that is actually 2 times 10 is 20 and 20 divided by 5 is 4 okay or you may cancel 10 and 5 cancel the 5 1 10 divided by 5 is 2 and 2 times 2 is 4 plus C here and solve for C we transpose 4 to the other side so we have 2 minus 4 minus why because this one is positive on the right side we transpose it to the left or we subtract 4 here we subtract 4 on the other side the right side will become 0 so on the right side we have C and 2 minus 4 is equal to C therefore our C is equal to negative 2 after computing for the y-intercept C, we'll just use this one again, but we'll not write the 2 anymore here or the x. We simply put the y, it's still y because we are writing the equation, is equal to, we have the slope, which is 2 over 5, which is the m, and then the x, still the x, but now we have computed already the C, which is negative 2, the y-intercept, Therefore, we just add minus 2 and we have the equation of our line which is the same as the first solution. Okay, example number 3, we have find the equation of a line passing through negative 3, 5 and 6, negative 2. In this problem class, we don't have the slope. We have y sub 1, if you want to, and this one to be point 0.1, we have y sub 1, x sub 1, yes. But we don't have the slope or gradient m. If we have two points given, we need to find the slope. If you have a graphing paper, you may plot this negative 3, 5, somewhere here, the origin. 6, negative 2 will be somewhere, and then you have a slope. We know that one is slanting to the left, we have a negative slope. If we are going to plot it, but if we don't have a graphing paper, how can we get the gradient? We get that one by using our formula for finding the gradient or slope, which is this one. So, before we use this formula of M, let us put the subscript. Because we will be confused if we are not going to put the subscript here of what point is x sub 1, y sub 1, and what, which of the point here will be the x sub 2, y sub 2. So, you may choose to be this one as x sub 1, y sub 1. This one is your x sub 2, y sub 2. Or if you prefer, you can have this one as x sub 1, y sub 1. This one is your x sub 2 y sub 2 then we solve for m first so let's find the slope m copy the m equals here and then draw first the fractional bar so it will be centered here on the equality symbol now go there y sub 2 you have already the label here so you will not be confused anymore y sub 2 is negative 2 so for negative 2, do not put this first number on a bracket. Just leave it there. Negative 2. Why sub 2? Negative 2. Copy first the minus. Always copy the operation minus there. Okay, minus. And then find y sub 1. Where is y sub 1? So y sub 1 is here. It's positive. If that's positive, you may not put that one anymore inside a parenthesis. Because if that is inside the parenthesis, a negative times a positive is still negative. But if that one is negative, put it inside the parenthesis. Okay, x sub 2 here, whereas x sub 2 is 6. So we place our 6 here and copy the minus. 
always the symbol of operation. X sub 1, see now it's negative 3. If this one is negative, don't put like this one. We don't have uh, like this in algebra. So to separate that one, we need to put this negative 3 in a parenthesis. That's the their separation of the negative here and the negative here. Okay. And that is multiplication. After that, we can add the numerator. Negative 2, negative 5, we have like signs we add. So this one is negative 7. And this one is 6. Negative times negative is positive. So it is not negative anymore. And then we have the 3. And then finally, we have, you can put the negative in between here of the numerator and denominator. It's the same as negative 7. And 6 plus 3 is 9. And that is our slope. Now, if your slope is negative, you may put the negative sign here in between the 7 and 9. Or you may put the negative on the 7 here or on the 9 here. But do not put two negative. If you have two negatives, then it will become positive because negative divided by negative, like signs in division, is positive. So this one is our slope. After finding the slope, we will use this formula. We can use this formula now. Okay, that formula. Or you can use this formula and solve for C. What's better if you are going to use this one? So let's have the Y here y minus all right choose your point but because we have already the x sub 1 and y sub 1 here i will choose this point if you don't want this one then remove the subscript here and put one and one and remove this one so you are going to use that one as your x sub 1 y sub 1 and the answers will be the same if you are going to use this one if you are going to use this one, in the final answer, you will have the same equation of the line. So let us have this one because we have x sub 1 and y sub 1 already here. So we have y, copy the y, copy the minus, minus y sub 1. So we have y sub 1 there. Find the y sub 1 here. Forget this one. We are talking only of this one. So y sub 1 is 5. So 5 is equal to now here has suggestion only if you have a negative here it's better to place the negative in the numerator so we have negative 7 and then the 9 is positive because when we multiply 9 to the other side it will be positive and we will not be confused of the sign anymore the negative 7 anyway is will be left on the other side and then we have the, that one, the open parenthesis, and we have an x there. Copy this minus here, minus, and where is x sub 1? x sub 1 is negative 3. So put that one again in the parenthesis. Okay, it's like that. So here, we will cross multiply because this one is the denominator. We multiply it up here. When we multiply 9 to y minus 5, we will enclose y minus 5 in a parenthesis or bracket. So we have 9 here, and then y minus 5, so we not be confused of the distributive property of multiplication. And then on the right side, we have negative 7 here, 9 is not there anymore. And x, now negative times negative, careful of the sign, is positive, and that is still 3. Now we multiply uh, distributive property 9 times y is 9y minus is here 9 times 5 is 45 here equals careful of the sign of the multiplication here negative 7 times positive x is negative 7x negative times positive is negative 7 times 3 is 21 
Now, we will combine like terms. Uh, we combine this one so that it will be in the form y and then equals x and the y-intercept. So, here we will leave a 9y. So, I have here 9y here and then equals because we will leave y on the left because it's positive. Now, here we copy first the minus 7x. And then the minus 21. And then this negative 45 will be positive on the other side because we will add here 45 here. We will also add 45 on the other side plus 45. So 45 minus 45 will be 0 on the left. So plus 45 there. Plus 45. Okay. So here now class, let us simplify. We have 9y is equal to negative 7x. Now, so 45 minus 21, the sign is positive because 45 is greater than 21. So the sign will be positive and 45 minus 21 is 24. It's correct. 1 plus 4, 5, 2 plus 45, 24. Then we remove the 9. How do you remove the 9? We divide this by 9. We divide this by 9. We divide also this 24 by 9. And then that's equal to 1. So y is equal to negative 7 over 9. It's the slope x and then plus this 24 over 9. If you want in decimals, you divide 24 by 9. But here, I'm just going to write 24 over 9. And this is the equation of our line, this one. What if you use this 6 and negative 2 as your x sub 1 and y sub 1? Now, you follow the process here and the, the solutions. And you will arrive on the same answer, which is this one also. You choose only one point, either that uh, point there as your x sub 1, y sub 1, or this one. So it's your choice.